good morning students and welcome to today's class so in the previous class we were doing subtraction correct so let's continue with subtraction so in the last class we studied how to do subtraction of four digit numbers without regrouping so in today's class we'll learn how to do subtraction of four digit numbers with regrouping so before that let's see what all we have done in the previous classes in subtraction we saw that subtraction means to take away and when we subtract we subtract a smaller number from a larger number then in the last class as i told you a larger number is called a minuend and a sm the smaller number is called the subtrahend okay and the result of subtraction that you get when you subtract two numbers you uh, the result you get is called a difference okay then subtraction is signified by the minus sign then we saw how to do subtraction on number line so how do we do it we start from the smaller number and count forward in tens or ones till we reach the larger number and then we see how many we have counted in tens and ones we add that and then we get the difference right so we saw examples also so here as, here as you can see we counted in tens first and then in ones to reach the larger number then what we did we count how many tens are there we saw how many steps of tens we took so we took one ten two ten three ten and two ones so three tens and two ones is 32 right so that is how you do subtraction on number line then we saw different properties of subtraction what are the properties of subtraction first of all subtracting zero when zero is subtracted from a number the result is the number itself okay so whenever you subtract zero from a number the final difference will always be the number itself so as you see here the example 512 minus zero is equal to 512 then subtracting itself so when a number is subtracted from itself the answer is zero or the difference is zero so when you subtract any number from itself you get the answer as zero so 725 minus 725 is equal to zero then subtracting one when you subtract one from a number you get its predecessor or the number before the given number so 693 minus 1 is 692 so 692 comes just before 693 so it's a predecessor of 693 okay so these are the different properties of subtraction then in the last class we saw subtraction of four digit numbers without regrouping so how do you subtract numbers without regrouping first what you do write the numbers vertically in the place value table okay once you place all the numbers in their place value table you start subtracting from the ones so first we subtract the ones correct we subtract the ones then then we move on to the tens place then we subtract the tens place then we write the answer in the tens place then move on to the hundreds place we subtract the digits in the hundreds place and what difference we get we write it under the hundreds column then we move on to thousands place then we subtract the numbers that are given in the thousands place write the difference okay so here we did subtract 2401 from 8536 so we wrote it in the place value table first vertically then we started subtracting from ones so six ones minus one one is equal to five then three ones sorry three tens minus zero tens is equal to three tens then five tens minus four uh, for sorry five hundreds minus four hundreds is equal to one hundred and eight thousand minus two thousand is equal to six thousand so what is the difference here it is six thousand one thirty five now if they ask you to verify your answer then what you will do you will add uh, the large as i told you the larger number is the minuend the smaller number is the subtrahend and the answer is the difference okay so when you want to verify if your answer is correct what you will do you will add the subtrahend that is your smaller number to your difference okay when you add the smaller number which is the subtrahend to your difference the answer that you get should be your minuend or your larger number if it is your larger number if it's equal to your larger number that means you have done subtraction correctly okay so this is how you do verification of your subtraction all right so we saw different examples on subtraction like this and also verification 
Now let's see a verification example. Here we have subtracted these two numbers 5,896 and 3,045. So when you do the subtraction, we got the difference as 2,851. Now to verify if this answer is correct, what we'll do? We'll add the uh, subtrahend. What is the subtrahend here? It is 3045. And what is the difference? It is 2851. So when I add these two, so I start adding from 1. So 1 plus 5, 6. Then 10s, 5 plus 4, 9. Then 100s, 8 plus 0, 8. And then 1000s, 2 plus 3, 5. So I got 5890. 6 okay 5896 so now this 5896 is equal to my minute or my large number here correct that is also 5896 so it is correct so the answer that we have got here 2851 is right okay so if we our subtraction is correct so this is how you do verification all right now let's move on to subtraction of four digit numbers with regrouping which is our today's topic now first of all let's see how to do subtraction of two digit numbers without regrouping sorry with regrouping okay so they've told here subtract 35 from 52 so how you will do first now arrange these numbers vertically in their place value chart so first you will write the larger number which is a greater number here it is 52 so we'll write 2 in ones place and 5 in tens place then what we'll do the, we'll write the smaller number which is a smaller number it is 35 so 5 in ones place and 3 in tens place okay now once we have done that first we'll start with subtracting the ones now what are the digit in ones place we have 2 minus 5 but we cannot take away 5 ones from 2 ones so what we'll do we'll borrow 1 10 from the tens column and add to the ones Okay, so when I take 110 from the tens column, how much is 110 equal to in ones? 110 is 10 ones, correct? So when I take 110 from the tens column, the two ones that are there in ones column, it becomes 12 ones. So 10 ones plus 2 ones becomes 12 ones. Now from 12 ones, I can take away 5 ones. So 12 minus 5 when I do, I get 7 ones. So we'll write down. 7 in the ones column now this 5 that is there in tens place now as i took 110 from that 5 that 5 will become 4 tens okay as 110 has been given away to the ones in the tens column we have 5 tens minus 110 which is 4 tens okay so this is 4 tens now what we have we have 4 tens minus 3 tens which is there in the subtrahend so 4 minus 3 is 110 okay so what is the difference between 52 and 35 so 52 minus 35 is equal to 17 okay it is equal to 17 now we'll apply the same exam uh, we'll apply the same procedure to uh, find the difference of four digit numbers so here they have told find the difference between 7250 and 1328. So as usual first we arrange the numbers vertically in the place value chart. So 7250 0 in ones place 5 in tens 2 in hundreds 7 in thousands. Then 1328 first you always write the larger number then we write the smaller number. Then 8 in ones place 2 in tens 3 in hundreds and 1 in thousands now what we do we start subtracting the ones now as zero ones is smaller than eight ones we borrow one ten from the thousands place sorry tens place okay we borrow one from the tens place so we borrow one ten now this five tens that is there when i borrow it becomes four tens and this uh, zero becomes ten okay so that becomes 10 ones so 10 ones minus 8 ones is equal to 2 ones then 4 minus 2 we can take away 2 uh, from 4 so 4 minus 2 is 2 then here in hundreds we have 2 and 3 as since 2 is smaller than 3 i'll borrow 1000 from the thousands place so the 7 that is there in the thousands place becomes 6 and this 2 which is there in hundreds place becomes 12 so 12 minus 3 when i do i get 9 okay i'll get nine then six minus one is how much six minus one is 
5. So what is the answer here? The difference between the two numbers that is 7250 and 1328 is 5922. Okay, so that was one example. Now let's see another example. Find the difference between 3,800 and uh, 1,754. So first we'll arrange it in the place value chart so first zero in ones place then zero in tens place then eight in hundreds place and three in thousands place okay then then 1754 four in ones place five in tens place seven in hundreds place and one in the thousands place okay now what we'll do We'll start subtracting from the ones place. Now ones place has zero ones and four ones, but zero ones is less than four ones. So we need to borrow one ten, but as it is again zero ten in the tens place, we borrow one hundred from the hundreds place. Now one hundred is equal to ten tens, correct? Of which one ten can be regrouped to ten ones. So now in ones place we have zero. So, what we'll do, we'll borrow from the tens place. But in tens place also we have zero. So, we'll move to hundreds place and borrow one from there. So, when I, this, we have eight in hundreds place. So, when I borrow one, that eight becomes seven. So, and the, uh, in tens place we have zero, correct? So, that zero becomes ten. But now I need to borrow from that ten to ones place. We need to regroup that ten, uh, from the ten tens i need to take one ten to the ones place so that ten becomes nine in tens place and the zero in ones place becomes ten ones so ten minus six when i do ten minus four when i do i get six then nine minus five i get four then seven minus seven we know the property that whenever you subtract a number from itself it is zero so seven minus seven is zero then three minus one is two so the difference is two thousand forty six now they have shown verification. Now you know how to do verification. We add the difference plus the subtrahend. So we will add 2046 plus 1754. So when we add 1 plus 6 plus 4 is equal to 10. So write 0 carry over 1. Then 1 plus 4 5 and 5 plus 5 10. So again write 0 and carry 1. Then 1 plus 0 1 and 1 plus 7 is 8. And in thousands place we have 2 plus 1 which is equal to 3. So your final answer is 3800 which is equal to our minuend. So our answer what we got is correct. Okay so this, this is how you do subtraction of 4 digit numbers with regrouping. Alright now let's see a few questions that are given in your textbook. Okay. So, exercise 3.3 .3 on page number 113 in your textbooks. Okay. So, here we have first two digit subtraction. So, let's see how to do that. So, first we have 7 minus 8. Since 7 is smaller than 8, we'll borrow 1 10 from the tens place. So, the 5 that is there in tens place becomes 4 and this becomes 17. So, how much is 17 minus 8? 17 minus 8 when you do, you'll get 9 ones. So, here we have 9. Then, 4 minus 3. How much is 4 minus 3? 4 minus 3 is 1. So, 57 minus 38 is 19. Okay. So, that was the first question. Now, second one. 32 minus 15. Now, 2 ones minus 5 ones we cannot do because 2 ones is smaller than 5 ones. So, we'll borrow 1 10 from the tens place. In tens place, we have 3. So, from 3 tens, if I take 1 10, then 2 tens will remain. So, this 3 becomes 2 and then when I take it to 1 place, it becomes 10 ones. So, 10 ones plus 2 ones becomes 12 ones. So, how much is 12 minus 5? So, 12 ones minus 5 ones is equal to 7 ones. Okay, it is equal to 7 ones. And then, 2 minus 1. How much is 2 minus 1? It is 1. So, my answer is 17. And then, then we have a 3 digit subtraction here. 8 minus 2. Now, 8 1 is greater than 2 1 so we can do it 8 minus 2 is how much it is 6 so we'll write 6 here then moving on to 10 so we can't do 5 minus 5 10 to minus 8 10 so we'll borrow 100 
so from this 800 if i borrow 100 it becomes 7 so that becomes 7 and this this becomes 15 tenths okay it becomes 15 tenths so 15 minus 8 when i do i get 9 okay 15 minus 8 is 9 then 7 minus 4 7 hundreds minus 4 hundreds is 300 so the answer is 396 then next one 4 minus 8 can we do 4 minus 8 we cannot do it so we'll borrow 110 from the tenth place so this 3 becomes 2 and this 4 becomes 14 so 14 minus 8 how much is 14 minus 8 14 minus 8 is 6 okay 14 minus 8 is 6 uh, sorry the last problem is not 396 it is 376 okay uh, we'll do it again so c problem 8 minus 2 is 6 correct then we can't do 5 minus 8 so we borrowed 1 so this became 7 and this is 15 so 15 minus 8 is 7 okay it is 15 minus 8 is 7 and 7 minus 4 is 3 so that is 376 then d1 4 minus 8 so we were borrowing one from tens place so three becomes two tens and this becomes 14 ones so how much is 14 ones minus eight ones it is six ones so 14 minus eight is six okay then two tens minus one ten how much is it it is one ten only then six minus two is four so four hundred and sixteen okay so that is four hundred and sixteen now moving on to the next question that is the E question on the next page so here we have 5 minus 4 so how much is 5 ones minus 4 ones it is 1 1 so in ones place we'll write 1 like this then in tens place 5 tens minus 8 tens we cannot do it so we'll borrow 100 from the hundreds place so this 200s when I borrow 100 it becomes 100 and this 5 tens becomes 15 tens. Now 15 minus 8 is how much? It is 7. So we'll write 7 tens. Then 1 minus 1. When you subtract a number from itself, you get 0. I'm sorry. So here we had 5 minus 4, 1. And here we had 15 minus 8, 7. And this 2 had was 1 correct so 1 minus 1 is 0 then 7 minus 4 is how much it is 3 so 3071 okay now now f question 0 minus 5 so how much is 0 minus 5 now we can't do that so we'll borrow 110 from 3 so 3 becomes 2 tens and this 10 0 becomes 10 ones so 10 minus 5 is 5 ones only Okay, then 2 minus 8, we cannot do that. So, we'll borrow 100 from 100's place. But here we have only 100. So, that 100 becomes 0 hundreds and this 2 tens becomes 12 tens. So, 12 minus 8 is how much? 12 minus 8 is 4. Okay, then 0 minus 0 will be 0 only. And 6 minus 2 is 4. So, it is 4045. The difference is 4045. Then next one, 0 minus 6 we cannot do. So we'll go to 10's place. But in 10's place also we have 0. So we'll borrow from 100's. So this 100, 800 becomes 700's. And this 0 10's becomes 10 10's. But I cannot, uh, but I need to borrow 1 10 from this. So this becomes 9 10's. And the 0 1's becomes 10 1's. So how much is 10 minus 6? 10 minus 6 is. 4 and then 9 tens minus 2 tens is 7 tens and 7 hundreds minus 4 hundreds is 3 hundreds and 7 minus 3 is 4 so that is 4374 is the answer now question number 2 that is there find the difference and check using addition so this part you'll do for homework these four uh, four five questions you'll do for as a part of your homework today Alright students, so in the next class we will do combined addition and subtraction and we'll see word problems. Alright, so I'll see you all in the next class again. Thank you.